Well, I'm not sure what happened to that last video. We may have lost it. But we're here back at 1725 Rose. We definitely had a legit shots fired here. We're finding several casings in the front yard. Suspect actually walked up, by, stood by a car in the street and fired several shots at the house. Six casings that we found at the people that were walking back to the house from the BP gas station. So, um, this is the same place we sent the pizza. They did send us a thank you. And then, of course, a bunch of, a bunch of shots fired. Thankfully, no one hit. They think it's a brown or tan Volvo that was involved. On a suspicious of Western Maryland. Callers said two males looking into the windows of businesses on the corner, then got into the only two vehicles of the lot. Please that address is 370. Maybe for the pizza factory. Now I'm just sitting there. So a bunch of young kids that are here. As well. It's kind of terrible. 
All right, so I'm going to go fill those in the property. All right, thank you. You got 329. 329. We checked the area. Uh, Arlington and uh, Prosperity and didn't find anything that's all right with the boss will get this to the other shots fired. One two nine. One two three, take care of this. Why don't you clear me and put me on one two four call? Cancel one thirteen. Did you copy? One thirteen. Thirteen, do you have you being clear? One thirteen, we'll stay on that. We're basically three six six. Road to east to right, six casings total. Vehicle's going to be unrelated. I'll be heading inside to uh, go catch the down. next one. Coming here? Well, should we go? Tell them to meet us at BP. Right there, Maryland, Maryland and uh, White Bear. Do you know what I mean? Well, I think I think we, I think we lost our last video. Uh oh. It, 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 it said I don't know, maybe it's recoverable, but it said it ended because we were, we were recording too long. Hey, you need a little cash to help fill that tattoo in, or you, are you good? You know, I just gotta put some color in there, don't you? Or what? You know, come on, huh? My pale skin. Yeah. See you guys. See you guys. Merciless. I can't get out that way anymore. So anyhow, we went there. There was uh, six casings in the street near a car. Actually, some of them right along the curb, which are consistent with what they said, that someone got out of that tan-colored Volvo station wagon and walked up and shot them, shot toward them as they were getting into the car. Pardon me, as they were getting back to the house. They had walked up to the BP gas station. Um, so, and then they got shot at as they're walking back home. Nobody got hit, thankfully. Bunch of young, bunch of young kids there. Well, it appears that the uh, the overtime part two video shared to the shared to Facebook. It did. Yes. Automatically good. That's a good thing to know. Yeah. You see it? Yep. All right. Well, overtime part three. There right, we, we might go for overtime part four tonight. <laughs> yeah. That'd be we gotta set a new record, but you viewers gotta stay with us. Three one six. Three one six. I'm gonna stop up at the BP. Show us giving a Curtis Red to two two zero to one four nine Delos Street. Twenty three two. These fellows up at the BP are probably open, even though there's curfew. That's my guess. I got the feeling. Last time I was up here, I don't think they ever got the memo. That says. But I, I don't know. Maybe gas stations are. Uh... You know that they should be. Huh? I wonder if you're 
might need gas on the way home from work. Okay, well, we're going to talk to Mr. Hunter and see what he's got to say. The reason I want to talk to him is because I want to find out if those guys were screwing around. They claim the, th the, the kids that were there, they claim they were up here. So I'm just going to find out what they were doing and who they were talking to if they saw anything. I love them to death. It doesn't mean I always believe them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Absolutely. Nice young kids, but you're like any kids. They don't always tell you the whole truth. So we're going to see if we can put the pieces together. We'll be right back. And that was two Kenton Charles. Also, we just had a blue Camaro take up eastbound on Charles in relation. Copy at Kenton Charles, 2223.
699. Could you put me out at 1158 Springfield Street with an unoccupied St. Paul stolen Minnesota plate of a Zulu Mike 300 and I'll take a squad when one becomes available? And. Copy 1158 Spring Street on uh, with an unoccupied St. Paul stolen. figure out which radio was which. These are all yours. <clears throat> yeah. All right, so we talked to the owner here, which obviously I'm not even sure he should be open, but he, um, he doesn't remember those kids being here. But that doesn't mean they, that doesn't mean they weren't here. Paul Avenue, Unit 14 for domestic. He just doesn't remember. He assaulted the cop and kicked him out. He's now following him. So. Name is Elizabeth Giles, black female, 38 years old. She's wearing a black shirt. Yeah, so he's he's that you know, kids, if my kid walked off and said he was going to one place, he might stop at one or two else in the way, right? <laughs> For sure. Her mother took the pills, slammed the door on Comp's face. The advice she did not take any of the pills. Coach requesting medical confidence with the mom also threatened to hurt her as well and to other children to take her own life. The advice comp is fourteen years old. Six eight copy. All right. Thank you, twenty three twenty six. I'm glad we didn't, we glad we didn't lose a video. Yeah. Three one six. Clear assisted, and you can send us our last. Twenty-four thirty-one. Can you take reserve badge nine six seven off the detail? And show me out at five South Owasso on the security detail. Copy, we'll show you at five South Owasso for security. Well, at least the folks who got shot at, they did get the pizzas before that happened. Very good point. Thank you. Very good point. 699 is requesting assistance. 1158 Springfield Street, south of unoccupied store. It's supposed to have a loud muffler, too. If you're driving around and you see a tan colored Volvo station wagon with a loud muffler, take the plate down, send us a text. Tan or beige global station wagon with a loud muffler. Whoops. Information for squads in a 72 hour pick up and hold issued by squad 362 for a dance violation that occurred at 12. Crazy drive in an 1890 Ivy. An ATV and a scooter. 41 years old. 1890 Ivy? Yep. Wasn't there a call on 1800 block of Idaho too? Recently? Not that I recall. To leave the address, girlfriend's refusing to let him leave, sitting in front of the door, not physical yet at this time. Girlfriend's name is Princess, 27 year old black female. We're gonna let that one grab two children at home. We'll go for some. One, two, four, we're off front. Got it. 
thing about Doritos is they definitely stick to your fingers. Yeah, they do. You got a more? You have more of those though? Those Same ones. Chocolate, yeah. Oh no, this is the no, no chocolate peanut butter, cheese peanut butter. Would you like one? Well, I'm thinking about it, but no, not right now. 24. Okay. Coming. This is called folks in Florida. Here is for a vehicle driving slowly to the alley. All right, Start we're going to go back to that. Uh, information just came out that it's an ongoing problem. Neighbors would like some help with it. 2431. I'm not seeing reserve badge 967 as part of your crew. I am showing a 968. Is that the one you needed me to take off? All right. Perfect. Copy 2325. 2365 area. Those Doritos are too crunchy. There's Facebook food and then there's TV food. 8841, I'll clear the UA. Oh, definitely not Facebook food. Hopefully my cheese peanut butter <laughs> crackers are too crunchy. All right. So we're going to 18. Check it just 1800 Ivy, and probably in that park over there. Is that what we're thinking? I'm trying to think. It's going to be the other side of White Bear. An update for squats on the SIP call. Caller's concerned that her mom may put hands on her and that she may be mad with the cop. Looks like mother's a white team on her 40s, wearing a white tank top with black pants in the living room. Cop was last in the bedroom. Six zero six five. Twenty three thirty. Black male, twenty five to thirty years old, five eight, thin build, wearing no shirt. Oh, that's probably is that downtown? We got the road. Twenty three thirty. Three hundred. Three hundred. When you're available, can you call a comp center supervisor? Yes. I think I told the story about this park here. Race and pin on traffic, yeah. Oh, it got crazy. Terrible heavy rainstorm created unbelievable flooding in St. Paul. Talking 1995, summer of 1995. The, the whole the lines backed up. Bravo 458 DOT. All the houses flooded. Bravo 458 heavy night. I went there that night, everybody's basement was full of water to the top of their steps. Wow. That whole area had to be torn down. Show me out at the uh, Turned it into green space. Copy. Yeah. All right, where are we going? 18 right. something? 18 Don't be the vehicle's going to be walking southwest on 10 towards Robert. Can, can you read that again to see exactly where the... Everyone. Four wheeler is. It's riding up and down the street. Up and down the street. Three people on an ATV and one scooter. Copy 2332. Well, can't have that. 1814. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's that. Green space up here. <coughs> Excuse me. That could be a four wheeler lights right there, huh? Information for squad central and Easter Tide Company 2. Information no, that's a car. That's a car. Is that a, is that a truck? Here's 1890. What is that in front of us there? Coming at us? Oh, it's just the lighting, I guess. Uh, 537, come in the area. Description one more time, please. Delta November Kilo. Description of the black male, 25 to 30 years old, 5'8", 10 build, no shirt. Well, uh, uh, I'm in the area. 2333. 212 traffic. 212. Right in front with two Golf 0443. Right in front traffic at 
Now, Furness would be the ideal place to uh, drive a four wheeler, right? Yeah, up and down this little up and down the street. Copy. Well, let's let the resident here know that we're at least out here. Leg repair, right? As long as we Copy, try to sneak up on them unsuccessfully, now we'll let them know we're here. Five three seven. We're going to be out with them at Pedro Park. Oh, this one. Is that like an alley there? Two four. Five three seven. Copy out with the mail and two twelve four on traffic at twenty three thirty four. One thing, this patrols patrol jump isn't quite as much fun when it's twenty below. No, it's not. Especially when you're responding to all those traffic accidents. That is 2362 Tango arriving. 2335. There's an alley behind him here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Code 4. Code 4 with mail at 2335. Yeah, you feel bad for people when they have a problem in the neighborhood where they just, the kids keep annoying you with doing the same thing over and over. Little respect towards your neighbors goes a long way. 214 checking traffic. Twenty three thirty six. Yeah, I had great neighbors when I was growing up. Good role models. Jerry Hangy, the man that lived across the street. Faithful man at Gustavus Adolphus Church, but I'll tell you what, always pleasant, always friendly. Always called you Mr. Fletcher, I presume, you know? <laughs> I got somebody in the alley here. 537 negative. He's How's it going? We're looking for an ATV in the alleys. It's running around here. Is it somewhere? GOA is on the other side. It's running down high as something. Are, are they still out? Did you call or are you no, you're just a neighbor? No, I'm watching the church. Okay. We're working on cement. Okay. So now we're trying to do a little vandalism. Yeah. Good for you. All right. We'll appreciate keep... you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for saying that. Sure. God bless. See you. Thank you. you. Squad 316. Yeah, their neighbor was uh, Bucky, Bucky and Dorothy Magdalene across the street. Right. And when I was little and... Uh, They had a daughter named Kay, and she was down at the old gem store at White Bear at 61 and 36 getting groceries, and she walked between the car that was parked behind... 316, it was a 911 only phone. We're unable to call back. Oh, we got a guest appearance from Sheriff Hutch. Copy that. Sheriff Hutchinson. 2338. Sheriff Hutchinson, you're on Facebook Live still, so you going to bed? Robert. Sheriff Hutch, you there? 
Sorry. Hello, Sheriff Hutch. Actually, the phone froze. I'll call him back, see if he wants us. See if he was just butt dialing us. Could have been. Hey, I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? I think you wore your phone out there, Sheriff. I can't hear you. There, I was, was paying attention. Oh, did you, did you? Are you going to sleep there, or what? You rolled over on it, or what? No, no, no. I'm uh, driving, uh, driving home, though. Okay. Well, you're still on Facebook Live over here. We're, we're look. Oh know, yeah. Hello, hello, everybody. <laughs> Sheriff Hutchinson, direct from Hennepin County. Finest, yeah. finest, Quiet finest, finest sheriff in America. And pretty uh, top top couple at least. <laughs> yeah, good. Again, it's nice and quiet. That was good, Sheriff. It's all good. Yeah, I, nothing happened in St. Paul. Somebody said there's a group at Randolph at one point. That was a long time ago. So that's just nothing. I think that was a. And we checked it out. There was nothing there. So it was, it was uh, false reporting at some time. Okay. Well, what? And then time if you go. It's time to go go to sleep. No, 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 cat nap. no, you know, you know that I stay up till two every night. You know that, but you also know what time do I get up in the morning? Like ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, uh, I like to. I like to work late. Uh, I, I, cat, yeah. You remember? Cat, you? Here's the thing: cats don't sleep at night. The cat naps over the day. Cats, cats are awake at night. Well, I guess I'm a dog then. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like sleep. I need my baby sleep so I can look like you. Yeah, yeah. I did get some exercise today. You'll be glad to know. We chased somebody or what? Yeah, we got a we got something going on our Lydia and kind of See you later. All right, Hodge. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. 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 Yeah, Maplewood gets a fair amount of it. They're compliant. They're compliant. I can't understand. Oh, they're compliant. Okay. Oh, they're compliant. okay. 329 copy. Can I have you both start for a domestic at 1911 to 2018 Burns? There's a male comp stating that he wanted it on file that he did not hit it. I'm calling it 10 1 for me, boy. This is how I say the domestics. This is, a, this is part of one. Close to voicemail on callbacks. Uh, I don't know. You can try another callback and see if we can get an address. Really? It's going to be a different call there. We're not going to take a while. Contrary to popular opinion, that car is not coming at us. All right, well, let's go by this one. I don't have all the details on this maple call yet, but. 369 checking traffic. Code 4. Uh, when someone comes available, it's no rush, but I'll take one more. I'm going to do a field spread in. This guy's got a couple more. 362, put this back in Penny Logo. Copy. Looks like they got enough cars there. But they am rolled in up there. Just another. What 
316 or Colorado regions regarding an assault that occurred at 723rd Street East. You doing okay, Perry? 316 copies. Mm -hmm. Any other squads for midnight EOT? Negative response. Have a good night. 23. Wow. 367. 367. 375. Oops. 375. Was that an EOT? M386. Was that what? EOT, I hope. Any additional squads from Midnight EOT? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 12 well, squads have a great night at 2344. What do you think? May it Leanne Chen's had lunch there the other day. Looks like they got him in all in custody. The actual stop was in Lydia. Two one four. Two one four. Two one four. Race and Lighten, seven six zero, Tango Lima, Charlie. Race and lightning on traffic at 2345. Strike two. Strike two. We will be EOT. Good night. Have a good night at 2345. It used to be the Maple and Courthouse right there in that well, professional center, if you believe that. 2161. Used to hold court there. Rather than in, in a little <laughs> office out there. <laughs> and we, then we built that other courtroom with the help of a Representative Meslow. I think he's still an attorney, isn't he? Doug Meslow? Oh, no, no, he's a judge now. Yeah, oh, he's he's a judge in target. Washington County, that's who he is. And, uh, Happy Green Custody, Cancer 10 Wonder, 2346. One is wearing a white tank top and blue shorts, carrying either a pool or a bath. Anyhow, Doug Meslow um, was in a legislature. squad to assist and 3300 Rice Street Unit 229 at Cardigan Ridge for an 83-year-old male. He's unable to get out of the chair, just needs help so getting out. His son was a big fan of uh, the show 24, Jack Bauer. Oh, yeah. yeah. And actually, he got to meet Kiefer. Was it Kiefer? What's his Kiefer Sutherland? Yeah. And he got like twenty-six forty-one. I think he got a cameo appearance in the show. Oh no kidding! Yeah, he was one of the biggest fans. And um, so, uh, well, I, was I, think, pretty... I think Doug Mes I think Meslow's a judge now in Washington County. Some, somebody might know on our viewers. Oh, we're gonna see. That was a good show, though, huh? Oh, yeah. I was a big Jack Bauer fan. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was all drama. I mean, obviously, his tactics far exceeded anything in reality. You know? <laughs> but he was usually trying to stop a nuclear bomb from going off. <laughs> that was different. It is, it, I tell you, I went to a class once. There was a professor over at Willie Mitchell. I, it was just an evening seminar on on Jack Bauer's show. And the question was, because this was back during the same time that they had uh, Guantanamo and the water torture, etc. Sure. And the, the question was, does... Well, basically, the philosophical question the professor was asking is, is torture justified? Okay? Mm -hmm. And he was using the research out of Gitmo and he was also using the Jack Bauer show to talk about, you know, what our views of, and, and his thesis was that shows like 
24 had desensitized America to the concept. Sure. And you can kind of see that, right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And so that the, what was going on in Gitmo wasn't seen as that bad. And, but it was a philosophical question as to what, where America should be on the issue of torturing terrorists, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And of course the definition of torture is everybody's different definition, but clearly the waterboarding that was going on there was documented pretty well. But the question, the question that nobody ever answered, besides obviously it's morally wrong, you know, but the bigger question was, okay, did anything ever stop is there any evidence that any of it stopped anything, you know? Because they did it for a number of years. And of course right. they would claim that there were a number of plots and plans, you know. But I don't, I don't have the facts. I don't know enough to have the facts. But um, I, honestly, I find myself coming down on the side of not, not ever using those tactics, even in the most extreme situations, because it reflects on who we are. Now, I know there's a lot of people that don't agree with me. But I just, I just don't think you can give up your soul in search of, you know, catching terrorists. But in either case, the whole concept was, is the, the class was titled something about, you know, Jack Bauer. <laughs> and it's kind of, it is kind of interesting how television can kind of set the standard for people. Oh, as absolutely. That's the right or wrong. So. But entertainment's another thing, you know. You know. Oh yeah. That's the thing. And it was definitely entertaining. There was always a crisis. <laughs> but the, my favorite Oops. part about the Jack Bauer was Chloe, which was part of the inspiration for our, all our analysts that we have. Mm -hmm. you know? So Joe, Heather, who's listening who's still working Heather Kelly you're all like and, you know and of course Fran we got four Chloe's on this department Sanjay Sanjay too but these they can dig into information and it's just an unbelievable team you know what do they use to call the headquarters there on Jack Bowler uh, CTI CTI yeah, yeah. counterterrorism Anyhow, the point okay. is, uh, they were, that was, Chloe was kind of the inspiration for Emmerich. To have real-time information that we can get to the cops that need to have it in a timely fashion. And uh, there are so many databases out there now that can help officers on the street. So our, our, our analysts work, they're working tonight. And they're actually, when officers come across stuff, they're shipping out information on where this person has been before, who, who they visited, who's visited him in jail. Every single database that we have access to, we can pump out to the officers on the street. Now, we don't have access, we don't, we can't hack into databases and cameras all over the world like they do on television. But if there's a database that captures information that government has access to, we can get it to the cops. It's amazing how well they navigate all of that. Yeah, you've seen it since you came to work, you know. Oh, yeah. It's a different world than when we were out there. Like I said, we started without a, without a computer in the car. Was that the hotel? All right, we're back in the city. 447 I don't know what Joe Miller's still doing awake. It's a Thursday night, Joe. <laughs> Need to do is come across a tan Volvo station wagon. No, yeah. well, we just need to come across the car. <laughs> Any car. <laughs> Once you get into the city, it's pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. Last time St. Paul, Minneapolis had curfews, the governor's, you know, also applied to the whole metro area and then of course the cities themselves started adopting additional curfews.
yeah, there were some nights it was surreal yeah. where I'd be working till one, two in the morning during all of the riots and would drive home. What's that? I don't know, that's close enough for me. It's definitely a station wagon, right? Yep. Did you turn it? Yep. And it had a, it had a, sound, a funny sounding muffler too. Yep. Get the plate first. Yep. It's, you don't realize it's probably going to be an 80 year old guy coming home. Of course. East on Ivy. It's not a Volvo, uh, but it looks enough like a Volvo. AZT256. It's oh, got that muffler. Yeah. Remember that loud muffler? Yep. Said it was a loud muffler. So somebody run the Alpha Zulu Thank Tango you. 256 for us. We'll Thank follow you. him until he maybe gets out on his own. It doesn't sound like the kind of car you want to run for the cops. Was there a call here earlier for building 1970? What, what kind of car is that? That's a Subaru. Subaru? Well, That's those Norman. kids it's didn't got, know whether it was a Volkswagen or a, <laughs> or a Volvo. Volvo. But it's, it's got the same basic look. Yep. Yeah. They picked a picture out of a Volvo that we showed them. Let's just go and go for it. Three two nine. That's affirmative. It was 1970. It's not really being for a verbal argument between him and the light. It could be. Him and the female tried to squawk right in on seeing the female advised that the type of argument was normal. I'm just gonna let him see him get out of the car. Okay. It lists to the 100 block of East Lawson. Just let him get out of the car and see. So we don't actually have to stop the person. I think he might be waiting for us to approach him now. Yeah, well, we're not gonna, because that would be a hazard. Okay. He looks, he looks good. Yep. All right. Alright. Not our car. But now he knows what happens if you're out after curfew. <laughs> you might have the sheriff on you. Nine seven zero University. You know my my fifteen year old always says nothing happens till twelve fifteen. So it's only twelve. I gotta make sure you saw one message. Okay. Which one? From uh, Joe and those guys. Right there. <laughs> the new Centurions. Uh, well, those guys are they working? Because of the detail? Maybe they are. I I don't know what our analysts are all up or. Let's just say hi to these folks. How's it going? You know, there is a curfew tonight, huh? Can you take me the board to Okay. Yeah, no problem. Where are you headed? Sir, to Sir, have a good night as well. All right, carry on. Thanks. You too. Twenty six thirty two, yes, 
let's roam the side streets of the east side, Pat, huh? Sure. Till we scarf her up a stolen. Southbound on Whitey from Maryland right now. I, I think I've told you this before, but people that don't want to get stopped or seen don't drive on the main streets much. They prefer to use the side streets. And... Um, They pick and choose their oh, spots when it comes to crossing. You ready? So a lot of the stolen we end up buying are not on the main streets. Twenty-three fifty-nine. Detail. It's actually, it's nice to be able to share this street experience with other people, don't you think? Oh, definitely. And, uh, and, um, Thank you, you know, I went to sleep Three last night five. after watching hours of video from Minneapolis right, and Kenosha. Just, uh, Lost a little bit of hope, but tonight it's kind of come back, you know? Yeah, it kind of rekindled it a little bit. Yeah. And you meet some nice families like we met out there tonight, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I get plus start to Target, 1744 Suburban. There's a male chasing a female with a machete. Oh, oh. Well, we could maybe run over there. Huh? It's going to take yeah. a while to get there. Target on Suburban, a male chasing a female with a machete. We're going to try to navigate over there, but there's no simple way to get there from Payne Avenue. Is there? I don't know. This could be a rough one. Down to the freeway, maybe? Probably. We're going to have a training course on the way there. You see where it says, do not come this way? You can, you can do it. Have a good night. Three minutes. Shiloh. Shiloh, the Pennsylvania, or the Payne Avenue area is open to get through anyway. 2641, you clear us assist. Copy, three minutes. Pardon? Copy, three minutes. Oh, it works. How's it look right, buddy? It is clear. Sort of clear over here. The white male, 30 years old, 59 gray hoodie. Phone is pinging within three meters of MGM liquor. Oh, three. Three twelve, I'm pulling out. Make sure I don't hit any homeless people here. Three seven three, risking the highway from Seventh Street. It's way out. Clear right. Okay. He's just getting on from Seventh, so we got one car there. Okay. Now he's getting. 
here so we can get a better look at the right. Always a good idea. Clear. You know, I drove this car for eight months before I realized that that eco mode button, when you wanted to go faster, needed to be pushed. Because it's eco off and not eco on. Did you know that? Right there, a little bit of the button right there. 111, copy on route to 1730 ah. Grand Avenue. Of course. Suspicious balance, you know, checking the course. My 15 uh, my year old told me, hey, Dad, if you want to go faster, you got to have the eco button on. Forty-four fifty-four. Forty-four fifty-four. Becky and I can meet us up at Everett. Oh, no. Give me a status check for three one two. I hate when people do that. Eight twelve checking our status. They pull over Follow to the next car. Come to the left here at the PP. Turn around. Code four there? Not yet. Three and two. How's it going, buddy? Jonesy's kid. Can we just have medic stand by? Got adult male conscious breathing. <laughs> got multiple lacerations to his arms, bleeding. Happy heavy medic stand by. So the gentleman we saw walking in front of us is a son of a St. Paul police officer that was killed. I think we're code four here, but the man has. Uh, yeah, they haven't cuffed him yet, so we've got the medics coming for him. He's got several lacerations in his arms. Happy medics cleared in at 07. Happy medics cleared in at 07. Three seven three code four. We don't need anybody else with you. Happy on squad not on scene. Can you clear? He's uh, not fully cooperative, though, is he? No, it doesn't seem to be. No. I think he's using some foul language too. But where's the woman? Anyhow, Tim Jones was killed in the Ryan Jones and his son went on to become a St. Paul police officer. Amazing story. Remember when he was little riding on the the horses from the the Mounties? They let him out at the funeral, they let him ride on the sure case number please. Case number is one seven nine seven one two. And um, Roxy Jones, the mom. Praise those kids. Actually uh, Chelsea went on to be a great hockey player out of Stillwater. Played against my daughter all the time. And Matt became a St. Paul officer.
a lot of years went by since then. 26 years. It's amazing. Yesterday was the anniversary of their death. August 26th. Well, maybe we're on the 27th. No, I don't know. I lose track. We're on the 28th now. Yeah, but August 26th was the anniversary of their death. Dark day. Good, how are you? Are you working here or what? Hey, let me ask you a question. After, after you answer his questions, I got a question for you. Can you, you got that picture of Terrence Miller? That, it's in that, it's in that, it's in that document you gave me? Is it still here? Oh, Most of you know the story about uh, Ronnie Ryan Jr. getting shot at, at Sacred Heart parking lot and then Timmy Jones and others searching for his killer and then Tim Jones getting shot and killed as well. Along with his canine laser. Yeah, laser too. Gonna talk to this BP clerk here because I know a lot of these kids come down here late at night. We're gonna see if he wants to be a secret agent. <laughs> Good, how are you? I'm all right. Knuckles. Just try out. Hey, listen. Try this guy, Terrence like... Miller, him and his brother, they come in here. Terrell and Terrence, the twins. You ever seen those guys? I only been out here for a year, so I well, really, okay. I really don't pay attention to a lot of people, sir. Right, Not going to even. Anyone look at look at any of those other ones in there? Well, here's the thing. This dude came to hell a lot. That's crazy. We got the same birthday. My birthday. Hey, listen. My birthday July 13th, but I was born in 2000. Right. His birthday July 13th. He was born in 01. He came here a lot though. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna be no snitch. I'm gonna come back. No, no. With none of that. We pay good though. I ain't trying to get paid. I get paid good enough right here. I get paid good enough right here. Listen, I ain't got nothing against the police. Y'all protect us. Y'all do y'all job as best as y'all can. But if a guy has shot somebody and we needed your help catching him, you'd want to help us then. Oh, yeah. If he shot if he shot somebody I knew, I'm not going to say it like, I don't want to listen. I don't want to say I'm bogus or nothing like that. But just, if, if listen, right? If somebody shot somebody yeah. and I didn't know them, yeah. I'm not going to say nothing because then, well, they come shoot me because I'm. Well, you want to do the right thing and help us catch somebody? If I saw it in my face, yeah, I tell you. Okay. The truth. But I, if somebody just came and told me, oh, I shot this dude, I'm not going to believe. You could be just lying for No, but I mean, if we brought a picture of a guy that shot somebody, maybe we could convince you to help us, right? Probably on a good day. On a good day. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Probably on a good day. What? Uh, what? Part, where you live? What part of town are you from? I, I'm from Chicago, yeah. but I just moved right here on Birmingham. Oh yeah. Like, uh, like Birmingham right here yeah. in these apartment buildings. Probably like three or four months ago, my bad. Yeah. Chicago. Probably he, like four months ago. He needs you for a minute. Help him out. Well, I thought he needed you. He had his he had his, he had his clipboard no, no. out. No, Kevin Bratt. What's his last name? Bratt. B R A D T. Am I supposed to know him? He says that you're his uncle. He wants to talk to you. <laughs> He's coming to ask. Kevin Brett? Yeah. Did Brett. he? How did he know I was even here? Oh, he saw you. Saw you pull up the lights around in the interior. This will be good. Oh wait, <laughs> let me ask you this: Is he the guy with the machete? No, not co-worker. He's the one that's got. The oh, Kevin Brett. I know Kevin Brett. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I am his uncle in a way. Good, how are you?
So another example of uh, St. Paul being the biggest small town in the world, this uh, injured gentleman here is uh, claims Sheriff Fletcher as his uncle. I guess it's sort of a honorary uncle as opposed to a blood uncle. At this point right now, it's unclear what the machete angle was. Excuse me, I have to respond to some text messages here. Three seven three. Do you have three one two go to four? Hi.
Sorry, folks, I'm checking a message here that's very important for the sheriff. I'm going to have to share with him. back with you. Something new every night. Something new every night. Try to help people the best you can. Get them pointed in the right direction. Apparently there was no machete. It was an argument with a customer and the owner about some ice. <laughs> the argument went downhill. Some type of conflict ensued. Some injuries were incurred. All in all, St. Paul Police Department has advised just with the notes to the computer-aided dispatch trip on how on earth the call came out as a man chasing a woman with a machete. I have no idea. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's... baffles me sometimes but the there have been an inordinate number of machete calls this year yeah. thank yeah. goodness there wasn't one this time It's only 1224, Pat. Here we are. Oh, the nights and diapers. It's never late until midnight, then it's early. That's right. Exactly. We're going to lose a radio. we got so many darn radios in here, we're probably going to lose one. Tomorrow's Friday. It's not payday. It's Friday. And I've got a feeling 9-11 tomorrow night is going to come really fast. Yeah, we can handle it. Oh, heck yeah. You know, normally, under normal circumstances, you'd figure the odds of 1725 rows taking another incoming would be pretty small. But under these circumstances... <laughs> Maybe not. 
And there's the cherry pit the on the left here. Yeah, where James got his chicken. That's where he got his chicken wings. And I've got to say, the wonton tacos, unbelievably good. Now, it used to be owned by Johnny Contronio. And uh, <clears throat> Johnny Contronio was a wonderful... A wonderful, wonderful man passed away here about two, three years ago. Um, Louis Catronio with his brother, but I think his son still runs it. I think his son runs the cherry pit now. Just a kind person. Worked for Dino Guerin as his legislative assistant. I, where I hired him to work part time at the sheriff's office as well as one of our receptionists because he just had such a nice way of talking to people. Now, I don't know if he's related to her or not, but I know that uh, Colleen Humphrey's daughter, who owns the Sherwood. Okay. I think, Nikki? I, I think believe. there is a connection there somehow. Okay. Because her, her daughter Nikki is also in ownership. Of the yeah, Sherwood. I think that's right. Maybe, yeah, I'm not sure how they connected through his kid. It's possible they sold it, but you know, he used to own it. So we're going to sneak up the back way through Ames here, on the back side of the Rose Street address. Clear. This is the way a lot of the kids flee when they leave there. Because there's always less cars down this way. How's it going, guys? Where are we heading? Huh? Home? What's the address? Well, one at a time. What's the address? All right. Time to get time to get back there. Okay. All right. Well, I know, but it's 12:27. The curfew was at eight. Later. You're welcome. I think there was a stop sign there. I had to stop. Three seventeen. Is medics are requesting an officer meet them at the station next to Target regarding the patient they are quick for. Copy, then we'll tell them soon. What do you think you watched? 300 over? cancel 373. Do you think you watched? Over? Copy. Well, that's an unusual call. We'll see what that's about. We got a team riding on this 3210 property and probably clear 320. Okay. Driveway? It's kind of weird. Now, normally, if you're putting your driveway, you just go, right? You just stop in the middle of the street. What's that house up here on the cottage? It's a troubled house. 
Oh, they were waiting for the garage. The garage door to open. Information is about channels 2 and 3 at Hyda Council 3 at 30 minutes. What's going on? What's going on? This, is this your house? Oh, your dad's house. Well, we're just checking. You know, it's a curfew tonight, so we're just keeping everybody safe. Uh, all right, that's that's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, I, I should have turned my lights on, sir. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. No. Take. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> Well, you know, you got that house. Right There's a right house there. up here in Cottage that's a trouble, you know, up here a few blocks. So, so that is really that. Cause I seen that alert on the phone, eight o'clock. So is that? Yeah, uh, hard so to is believe. So that gonna be every day or I, what? Yeah, well, I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Oh, really? So this lasts till what time? Six in the morning. So six in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, you guys have a safe patrol well, yeah. thing. Yeah. Is this your truck? Yeah. Pretty nice. Yeah, I like, thank you. I like that. Appreciate it. You have a good one. Yeah. Good night. Thanks. Yeah, he's probably wondering who are these people. Who are these guys scoping <laughs> up on me? <laughs> food truck. Yeah, it might be. It might be fun to have a food truck. What do you think? That was. Uh... Trisha, one of Trisha's in my dreams was to have a food truck when yeah. she retired. Three twenty. Three twenty. Sierra caller seven eighty orange. They're requesting to get belongings from seven eighty six Hasler. Copy. Thirty two minutes. We are eastbound on Cottage from Flandreau, by the house way. Here. 7130, that's, the, that's the problem. That's the problem. Copy, 33 minutes. It's boarded up, but people keep breaking in there and using it for a drug drug place to use drugs. Like 7106 uh, arrived, any mileage 8315. 1737, Cottage. 7106, Cottage. The neighbors are glad to have gotten them out. Yeah a lot of friends on this couple blocks here. Well, this car has been sitting here for an inordinate amount of time, correct? Yep. 355 Romeo November Whiskey. If he didn't know better, he's like he fell asleep at the stop sign. Huh. Well, let's give him a visit. Yeah, that is a newspaper guy. Let's see what we got here. 296 East 7th Street at Speedway for a stop. Well, she's clearly not asleep. Hi. Hi. Well, you were stopped here for so long, we were worried about you. Okay. Oh, no problem. No problem. There is a curfew. Where are you headed? I'm heading home. Oh, but where is it? But what? It, where are you? What's your destination? No, but you said you're looking for directions. I live in Rapids. I'm looking for my sister. She was asking for help. Okay. And then that's where we went. 2162. 2162. Yep. We'll be able to couple of 2075. She said what? Yeah. Yeah. Copy out with a couple of 2091. Is she in the... Well, how old's your sister? 15. Well, are you going to keep looking for her? Uh, all right. Well, 
Oh yeah, you can look for your sister if it's important. We're not going to stop you from doing that. Safety comes first. You bet. I'm blinded. All right, well, we'll start slowly heading back toward the barn. How's that? I think we probably should. Unless something comes up on the way toward the barn. should probably just take a look at this car that we're coming by. Remember, nobody drives on main streets. <laughs> take these secondary streets, like Hazel, because I, I don't really want to be seen. All way. Next one? I think so. Oh, the next one. I think this one. Nebraska? Yep. Yep. Information for squads for a consular at Washington County for weapons called assault gun use was not recovered. A small black semi auto handgun was used. Still not recovered, believed to be on the subject's person. Subject has personal ties to St. Paul and Hastings. No vehicle description given. Subject's name is Joshua B. Lewandowski. Point mail due to I'm going to run this one. Echo Bravo Kilo 813. So now you saw this car. When they're, they're out after curfew. They're going up Hazel Street because they didn't want to use the main street. And now they're cut over going down side streets. Echo Bravo Kilo 813. It's probably good we didn't get through right away so he doesn't think we're following him. But we get a ton of stolen cars out here. This is optimum time, side streets like this. Now, having said that, doesn't mean some people are just afraid of main streets. Like my sister-in-law. She really she won't drive on a highway no matter what the what the circumstances. Bravo Kilo, what was it, 813? 813. Yeah. Well, check his driver's license, if you wouldn't mind, analyst. <coughs> The Hazelwood down to twelve twenty six Hazelwood. Clear. Well, it's pretty much made a loop. Can grab a jump pack and come Hi. You just not driving around or what? Uh, just going home. Going home? Alright. 
Well, you're over there in Hazel, you're out in Nebraska. There, you just You just what? Your buddy's house? All right, are you Jeff? All right, have a good night. Thank you. 312, I can assist now. Drove by, drove by his buddy's house. Now he's going home. <laughs> Some people don't like to be home early. Clearly, you gotta have a you gotta have a good TV at home. I got a good TV. Mm -hmm. For falling asleep too. It's not a smart TV or anything, it's just a good TV. 300. Well, you lost your cap. Yeah, you all that work to pour that can in there. There's and there's the I lost my can. You have them meet me at the target on Suburban. Com reported the uh, mail party threatened suicide. I'm going to go talk to him. Oh, good. All right, so. Sir, do you smell that can back to target? 320 for call back, depending. We'll head there for the team. He's on his way home. He lives, the gentleman in front of us lives just up ahead here. Just another five or six blocks. 15 minutes away. And it got us headed towards the barn, too. 260, Gary. Yeah. 212, cancel 260. There's more cars out here than there she should be. Though. Yeah. No, that's the thing. 260 clear, thank you. Must be coming back from the suburban oh, okay. bars. Oh, that lady was watching us, I think. <laughs> so we got a 17 year old at Victoria. Jumped at Rice and went away. Street cleaners? You know, it's funny, just because there's nobody out here, it has the peacefulness of our normal 3 o'clock. You know yeah, what I mean? it does. Yeah, you'd it, 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 think it was three if you didn't know that it was twelve forty-five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just think how much rest people would get if you, every week there was one day like this. Two <laughs> one. <laughs> you, you know, I just thought back to when you were talking about the model trains we had when we were kids. Yeah. And the small one was the HO, right? Yeah. When yeah. you were talking oh, about that, I could smell yeah. what they smell like. Exactly. Yeah. It's like the, the old fashioned cat guns. So well I was gonna I hadn't really finished that story about how trains can be captivating. So you go to the take little Bob to the museum there, the trains, you know? Mm -hmm. little. Okay. And then it brings all my memories back when you used to go see, uh, you know, Sheriff Hedman had a big train layout up in New Brighton too, I don't know, when you were little. All these train places, and if you ever go to Disney World, right by the American part there, there is a, a train set that, anyhow, I, I, I've always been interested in trains. So we go to the hobby store, what's the hobby store in Roseville over there by Tommy's house? Oh, uh... Minnesota? Hub? Uh, Is it Hub Hobby? Or? Hub Hobby. Hub Hobby, Hub Hobby. They got unbelievable stuff there. Trains and stuff. So I, I'm, I'm, now I'm envisioning building this huge train set downstairs in the basement. 
four by eights, you know, artificial grass, you know. <laughs> but I'm gonna help my seven year old be a train conductor and my wife, God bless her, she's kinda shaking her head at me like well, I almost I didn't I didn't buy anything that day. I almost walked out of that store with every train part there was. Thankfully I caught myself and realized how much work that it would take you know, to accomplish all that. And once she told me, Bob, that's going to be a lot more work than his kid's science project. <laughs> <laughs> and I, said, I think you're right. <laughs> so, um, you know, you try to help your kids with their science projects, right? You don't want them to look too Oh, of years. course. And every parent helps a little bit. Some parents help too much, of course. Everybody knows you shouldn't do the project for your child, right? Right. But I was never more thankful that I never invested in that train set. <laughs> Instead, I got him into some other hobbies that were a little bit less your, all involving, you know? Your wife brought you back to earth on that yeah. one. She's just shaking her head. Thinking, Are you really going to buy all that train stuff? Speaking of back to earth, did you ever get one of those, you know, those rockets? Estes, rockets? Estes where, or yeah, where, where, where you stuck the wire up inside the cartridge. Yeah, and, I, truthfully, I ended up buying them Estes rockets because it's a lot simpler. Yeah, they're great. They're awesome. I never successfully launched one. Oh, they're great. I must have had 20 when I was a kid. I never successfully they're launched one. Their Estes rockets are awesome. to build big ones because you could have you could build three stage Estes rockets too. They're pretty cool. I want the truth of the matter is you know I wanted to be an astronaut. I don't know if I did I mention that before? No you didn't. That was my goal to be an astronaut when I was in ninth grade. I did a, I did a project of careers. Hmm. Astronaut was my number one did you know though when I was in ninth grade at John Glenn Junior High School that so granted that would be when like 1970, 69 okay. that there was a height limitation on astronauts you could not be taller than 6 feet really? yeah because they had to fit in the capsules well yeah that makes sense fit in the capsules Landed on the moon in '69, right? July 20th, '69. Yep. We were all inspired by that. So, oh yeah, you know, Neil Armstrong and uh, Estes rockets. But the very it crushed, it crushed my you know, goals because I was already tall for ninth grade. I knew I wasn't going to make it. Yeah, that's. Well, well, law enforcement is the better for that. Well, you know, it's funny you mention that because when I first got hired, they had just removed you in the, target parking lot? the height requirement like a couple years earlier. I am. Because it used to be in St. Paul, back in yeah, the 60s, you had to be 5'10 to get hired. Right. So. Back then I was 5'11 and now yeah. I'm 5'10 <laughs> because <laughs> that happens, <laughs> I've yeah. discovered. The very first thing I remember wanting to be was the old time garbage trucks where the guy hung on the back. Yeah. And would he was the guy who dumped the garbage cans. I wanted to be the guy who hung on the back of that garbage truck. Have you ever figured out why that was? No. No, I never did. But I just thought it did maybe, you ever take maybe out, it was Did the, you ever take the garbage out? Uh Oh, yeah. Because it stinks. <laughs> yeah. But I just I just thought those guys were cool. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. I don't know, free spirits or something. Yeah. yeah. But I, I wanted to be a cop at a very, very young age. Yeah. I never thought about being a cop until... So I was at the Burger King in University and Fry. There was a sign on the wall. 
But I told that story once, so I won't, I won't tell it again, but it's funny how life leads you in different ways. Yep. Yeah, I'm a fortunate person in that uh, I ended up doing my entire adult life exactly what I dreamed of doing when I was yep. a child. I was thinking tomorrow night when we're out, let's take some calls, people. You know, or if they text us a question, we call them and then they can ask us on the phone. Yeah. You think we could do that? That's why not? I think that would be a little more stimulating than just listening to us. <laughs> and maybe just having said that, yeah, we have cursed ourselves to be just busier than heck tomorrow night. Yeah, I know. So that will be, we'll try that and, yeah, uh, call got, load of, uh, yeah. allowing. Yeah, because we'll call a few people. If they got interesting questions, send us your question to 651-448-3810. Because it's easier for, us, easier for us to actually, we're down here in Winnipeg again, uh, to answer your question while we're driving than trying to read it. Very quiet tonight. Thanks for staying with us, even though it was uh, very, very quiet. Curfew in town. A couple of moments of excitement thrown in. Turn on, seems to help me clear. 52 minutes. If you see a light brown or beige, the Volvo station wagon, write the plate down and text it to us. Probably look at mid 90s era well, maybe a little bit of a louder muffler fired six shots at the uh, kids at 1725 rows or if you know somebody that has one and they suddenly stop driving it let us know let us know hey speaking of let us know let us know. Uh, my granddaughters, their favorite show is Frozen 2. Okay. okay. And it's pretty rare that Frozen, that the sequel is better than the than the original. That's the one with the penguins, right? Frozen? Or is that the one with the Ice Age stuff? That's the Ice Age. Okay. <laughs> 80, 41, All right. Well, you're going to have to watch Frozen 2 yourself. Because right? now you, you really you've insulted Frozen 2. So like Frozen 7 Street Northwest, 909 Tom X-Ray no, Boy? No, that's with Swin. So, Talking something like Frozen 7 Street Northwest. Anna Northwest, and Elsa. But, well, anyhow, I just want to, if you haven't seen Frozen 2, I would say it's actually better than, uh, better than Frozen 1. I watched it three times last weekend when they were in town. Well, now I know. I watched it once with each grandchild. They just... All right, so now we got shots fired at 2242 7th Street, which is really bizarre. Oh, comp saw an older Impala driving away at a high rate of speed. I don't know if it's... I'm assuming it's East 7th Street, right? would know if uh well west 7th street there's uh it's where downtown there's that one club out there direction. it's gonna be maybe it's a maybe that's a maplewood call go ahead 104 and copy on a shot fire 2242 7th street west it, it is west single caller reporting five shots just occurred so an older white impala driving down 7th towards downtown nothing else was seen or heard white well, impala we, we can certainly help them out by watching 7th Street. Or 55E. Yeah, I just I hate sitting there. Getting smashed, but you think you could get on 35E and come northbound from that? Yeah. Because he's way, way down there, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can That'd try to That would be a long that. haul for him to keep going downtown on 7th. Well, I can't really get on that way, can I? You can get on, 
southbound, oh, yeah. and then hop off on St. Clair oh, and come you're north. Murder, man. You're murder. <laughs> <laughs> came four minutes ago already in the call. We'll be clear. You can send us space. I just don't think we're gonna catch it on 35 if he's there. He's already probably blown by us. But I'll give it a shot. What the heck? sit on the thing and look for a white Impala that might have fired shots down at 2200 7th which is way down there so there's a little bit of chance he could have finagled back if he's smart though he went the other way on the So we're sitting down here on the entrance ramp, St. Clair and 35. Give it five to ten minutes to see if that white Impala comes by. Freeways can be like a good fishing hole sometimes. Yes, sir. For me, appears the windshield washer is low. You for Central Square with an IBIS to assist transit at regions. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. Port. Appears that the moisture is not drying too well. Let's see if we can try that again with a little warmer air on that. Two of one received. Thank you. S59 minutes. Sorry about that. Getting better as it goes. Yeah, it is. I better shut it off. But I think the warm air will evaporate since I don't think it's grease as much as it is moisture. There it goes. Tap it again. 
close enough? No. White Impala. Yep. here in a second. Try not to scare up too much too soon. Really not a lot of places he can go. So for those of you that just tuned in, Following a white Impala, there was a suspect in a shooting down at the south end of there that... Plate is 101 X-Ray Juliet Juliet. 101 X-Ray Juliet Juliet. I don't know if... Did we get a description of the occupants at all or not? No. Now let's take a peek. Is on. I, whoa. He's definitely not a very good driver. And I know drivers. That, could, we, that could be nervousness or it could be. Yeah, because he was driving really good until, until we, uh, until we tried to pass him. to an Impala, for those of us sending us data. slowed down leads you to believe he might actually be monitoring us, don't you think, or not? Mm -hmm. say it was a male yeah. who was shooting out of the car. Well, I, just don't, I just don't stop many shooters ever that have ponytails. <laughs> <laughs> I mean women. Whoa. You okay with letting out go? Oh yeah. Though. I'll watch it will come out when they get there. Girlfriend was mad at the bar. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's not, she's, the reason she's a little over the road is I think we scared the bejesus out of her and she was texting her boyfriend to tell her that there's 
Strange people trying to drive. <laughs> yeah, we probably scared her. Scared her, I think we did. I would be scared if a big old Durango came alongside. I don't like driving the freeway. I like staying on surface streets. It's got to be terrifying when you're the passenger. Two two six. Furnaces at six fifty nine Watson, requesting to speak with a squad about turning over firearms. See that he's a caregiver and the party's not able to make decisions. Copy. <coughs> I would have heard if there's any updates on that shots fired call. No, I haven't. I think that's down by the the Ethiopian restaurant, isn't it? Yeah. The Raz. Like that Raz. 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 Yeah. <coughs> that's what I was thinking. They should be Which, close. by the way, has some wonderful food. I know I've been there late at night, but never. I think tomorrow night I am going to have Omar Jamal explain okay, explain to all of us the conflict what between the Oromo and the Ethiopians. Clear scenario with the 113. You're going to have to get your yeah. African maps out though, because a lot of it impacts us. The, that nice man Ahmad from. Ahmad Sudan. From Sudan. South or South Sudan he was from? No, north I think he said. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Feels right. Feels late. You doing okay? You you, you got some place to go? Where do you live at? Pardon me. You're using the internet. Where's your home? What street? Marion? Okay, very good. Thank you. So he's coming over to McDonald's to use the internet and the Wi-Fi. <laughs> I thought maybe he lived in Virginia. You know? I that was my thought to exact thought. He says he lives on Marion. But uh Yeah, well that's a sad story. You gotta come over to McDonald's to use the internet. That's why online education for that 10 and 11 year old inside there is going to be pretty tough, right? Yep. Because there's no online in that house. That's why we're going to, our fall reading program, we're going to focus on a lot of those Korean kids because they just don't have a way to access it. I don't know what the plan is, but there was no Wi-Fi in their home. Sorry. Remember that when you're at home using your internet, and some guys are out there walking down to walking three blocks down to the McDonald's to use sitting in the parking lot so they can get access to it. Make sure you want to count your blessings. Yeah. Well, you know, every time we say we're going back to the barn, we get close to the turn. 
then something happens. You need to say that for that Thank you, Montana. Thank back with you tomorrow night first time we've done two nights in a row we probably won't be at our best but uh, hopefully for your sake and ours there won't be another curfew but if there is a curfew at 8 o'clock we should start at 8 o'clock good point good point don't you think yes maybe we'll move 9 11 to 8 11 if there's a curfew tomorrow after how quiet it was tonight, though, you got to believe that maybe they won't have a curfew. Yeah, and it doesn't sound like there were problems in Minneapolis either. No. Yeah. What was that that just turned? I don't know. It's the station wagon. I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> See? They said head to the barn. I know. Same, same place we were at when the shots were. Some SUV. Well, Can you show me available? Seven person is Delta Sierra Whiskey, E36. Oh, There's no curfew if you're going to work or coming home, obviously. So, right. Well, let's try to get home for crying out loud. Yeah. Get some rest. Caught up on the national news. We're right about the four hour mark, too, aren't we? No, I mean, we restarted. 316. We restarted at 11. We'll be clear, GOA. You can send us another. You're working on 10 hours tonight, there, young man. That's right. It's like the old 10 hour afternoon shows. But I'm going to get our crew on getting out to that area check. 316 area check of 16. Virginia address. Was it 1423? Yes. Apartment 7. 123 Kilo Hotel Papa. Zero six copy. 1320, go ahead. Sorry for stepping on you there. Uh, we'll be giving a courtesy ride to tell female to one of the train stop locations. We'll get you a exact address when we get there. Copy at 113. Alright, we're close. We're close now. 245, two, right, call well, come. Tune in tomorrow. We'll make a few phone calls if you got some good questions. We can talk and answer answer some questions. It's kind of fun having phone callers like Sheriff Hutchinson calling in. It adds a little dimension to it. You know, we're just this is a work in progress. This whole thing, so we don't claim to have it figured out. Definitely not. We just enjoy working and we enjoy having you come with. Not everybody's going to agree with everything we do. I mean, we're not out here pretending to be 25 year old street cops that are, you know, arresting and taking everyone. We want you to see what the officers have to do. Um, but, you know, we're, we're out here to, to be sort of a supervisors in a way, but also uh, communicators to the public. And, you 
you know, to be there when there's serious offenses that need to respond to. Sometimes we don't we don't handle things the same way uh, some young cops would because some young cops take everybody, you know. Right. There's a couple of those. We're, you know, we're we got to make sure that our policing is accomplishing the goal, which is getting people to change behavior when it comes to driving or something, but not necessarily punishing them financially. So, well, like I said in the newspaper, there's no one way to do this job. There's a variety of different tactics and approaches. And even Pat and I, I'm sure, have changed over the years. Oh, for sure. So. We have added security here at the gate. Obviously, I'm gonna say hi real quickly to our troops here. Thanks for being here. Appreciate hey. it. How's it going tonight? Pretty good. Go. Pretty good. Yeah. Crazy. Keep us safe. Yes, sir. We'll do. Thank you. Take care. See you. Take care. Although I never was much of a ticket writer, I will say that. No. That's for sure. Me neither, but... And there's nothing wrong with it, you know, oh, if you do. You got a mixture of personalities. That's what makes, exactly. government, that's what makes government work. Check the traffic. So this is our underground parking. Uh, Black Dodge. Um, truck fled from me. Oh, the Jewish driver has no plates. Northbound on highway. Forward to the side. I'm not chasing. Oh. It's uh, northbound approaching highway 96. Occupied two times. White female passenger. Took off on him, he said? Yeah. Where did you say it was on? He said it was. I didn't catch what he was talking about. Course 96 from Old Highway 8, occupied two way female passenger, not pursuing. Oh, that's 117. Way far. Huh? Way far. Yeah. All right, we're going to sign off. Thank you for hanging with us. We'll be back tomorrow night at 9 11. We might possibly, if there's a curfew tomorrow, we might start a little early, like at 8 11. So thank you very much. Appreciate all your interest. And uh, anything you want to say there, Go Pilot? Have a good night, all, and we will uh, talk to you tomorrow night, or I guess tonight. <laughs> <laughs> tonight. Take care. Hope Thanks. you enjoyed it. Thank you.